Well, Jack, Denise, what did you go for? Alien takeover slash China taking over the world. <laughs> One of the two. That, you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> it, this was, it was the Y2K bug which promised chaos at the stroke of midnight on the 1st of January 2000. You got a point, you got a point, you didn't get a point. The theme continues. <laughs> I asked you what the information mesh, the information mine, and the mine of information were proposed names for. Got it. <laughs> Professor Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Pretty certain that one is right. Points coming my way. <laughs> it, it's not. So what have you, what have you gone for, Darren? Well, we Gordon? went for the internet or the World Wide Web, you know, but that's what they call it. Mesh. Mine. Information. Kay. Information. Oh, Come on, information. So much information. Oh. <laughs> and you guys went, Alan? Well, I went daily sport, but he said World Wide Web. <laughs> Well, the World Wide Web is the, is the correct answer. answer. I think you get, you've got to get a point because you put WWW there. The internet was before and the World Wide Web was actually the happened in the, in the 90s. Remember the loading times of porno on early air? I, I, I just, just that... Mm. There's a bit of hair. There's a bit of, oh, look. Oh, oh, eyebrow, those eyebrow. eyes, eyebrow. I promise thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, lovely oh. shoulders. What I lovely like. shoulders. <laughs> what treasures lie beneath. Don't stop now! <laughs> I, thought, I thought buffering was another name for wanking. <laughs> The, the, you thought the computer was having a quick wank over yeah. the 8%! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 8%! <laughs> so you don't get a point for Professor Stephen Hawking. Sorry. Uh, next question. Um, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen wanted to know Eva Herzogova's catchphrase in the Wonder Briar adverts. What did you put? Give us a point, give us a point. Hello, boys. I thought, give us a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was definitely, hello, boys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is writing. You can just about see it on the right. <laughs> she looks like she's only just noticed them. <laughs> she does look surprised by what the are whole... these? <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do with a body like that. I think I'd find that you a bit just intimidating. Play with it. Yeah, but it, like it's too perfect. You know, I, 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 you know, I want someone that's going to sort of take control a little bit more. Like, give me Serena Williams any day, you know, <laughs> over that, because that would intimidate me. Serena Williams, she'd just get in, shove my face into the pillow, <laughs> wipe me around a bit, wipe her dick on the curtain, and leave. <laughs> I'm just being honest. OK, uh, finally, I asked you whose number was 0891 50 50 50. I've gone for gay chat. Yeah, me right. too. Yeah, but like, it probably had to, but it was 0891 50 50 50. And there was, like, guys going... Like, no, they went, it went like this. He went, if you're sat around at home, make gay friends on the telephone. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> no, no, no. 50, 50, 50, 50. And they're all doing this kind of like, yeah. yeah. And did it go chat back at the end? It did go, well, you're entirely wrong, by the way. Huh. With, with, oh. with the gay chat. It was, it was chat back is the right answer. Oh. Now, have a look. Good have a look. Funny. Come on, Carl, chat back. <laughs> You were just chatting to other people. You just chat to random. It's been replaced now, obviously, by those late night women standing there in their underwear holding a phone. The babe station thing, yeah. They're weird, though, because they're always like, oh, yeah, do you want to talk to me? Do you want to talk to girls in your area? And they always say in your area. It's like, I don't want them in my area. Some of the shit I'm going to say to them, I want them as far away as possible. Bump into one of these women, like if I'm like shopping with my mother in Tesco, like and she like, and recognizes my voice. Oh, it's Jackie! You're just putting your finger up his ass. Like, <laughs> Why do they always wobble their bums around? <laughs> they get up on their knees and they start shaking their bottom vigorously, as if something might fall out of it. <laughs> They don't want up there, and they say, they say, please help me. There's something up my bum. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's hard to do. It has to be said, they're very bad mimes. They really have... A basic physical theatre training would help these ladies so much. Like, because <laughs> they're going, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm having great... You're going miles! Calm down! <laughs> I'm not chasing you around the kitchen, right? Yeah, just, just go there and they're, oh, yeah... <laughs> The birdie dance. You're doing the birdie dance. <laughs> oh, you like the birdie dance, don't you? Oh, you like the birdie dance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she just set them different physical challenges. It's really, it's really windy. You're stuck in a glass box. I like you walking, walking up the stairs, walking up the stairs. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good idea. Don't take the tablecloth off the table, but leave all the glasses on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty whore. <laughs> I think we've got to get on the phone to baby station right now. Come up in the lift, you slag. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck in the lift. You're thirsty. You've been there for an hour. <laughs> You're desperate. <laughs> Who would you call? There's no one there. You're shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes a man. He's opening the doors. You're so pleased to see him. <laughs> his, his cock's enormous. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>